Hey, hey guys, so in this video, we're going to talk about upgrades. So, I went to a website called Thingiverse, it's by MakerBot, and there are all kinds of 3D models on this website. It's a great website. Um, so, if you're looking for upgrades, there are two main types of upgrades for pretty much every 3D printer. There's a belt tensioner. I'm just going to search belt, and it will probably pop up. And these two are universal for pretty much every 3D printer, because almost every 3D printer has a belt. And what this does is it tightens your belts and makes your prints more accurate. So I personally use this one, uh, this Ultimaker belt tensioner. Um, but it, it just depends. You can use whichever one you want. Um, and you print this yourself and it improves your printer so the other thing that is universal for all printers is a spool holder and there are tons of these you can pick which one you like um, they have different themed ones I mean tons of them you can just pick whatever and um, so now, those are the two universal upgrades, but what if you have a special printer and there's an upgrade just for that printer? Well, you search the name of your printer. So in my case, I have a Robo 3D. So I'm going to search Robo 3D. It's already popped up. And I hit enter. And there's a tool hanger. Um, there are, I mean, cable hangers. There's a Bowden hex mount. I mean, there are lots of upgrades that people have already made, and you can just print these off for free and improve your printer. Um, so I highly recommend you search your own printer. Say you have an Ultimaker. Um, obviously, you just go up here and search Ultimaker. And there are a bunch of, look, here's a fan duct. Um, they also have replacement parts for the Ultimaker or whatever printer you're using. So yeah, you can use pretty much whatever you want. All these models are free, and you can just keep upgrading your machine as much as you want. So I'll see you in the next video.